that it's time to go into training camp when there's so many high expectations. And also, I'd like for you to talk about what LeBron said when he talked about how everything should go through you to make you feel so much more important oh, on this that? team. Yeah. Shit. Um, I'm excited just to get started. Um, can't wait till tomorrow, you know, to be around these guys and knowing that we are going to be a, um, a step closer, you know, to, to tipping it off for real. So uh, I'm excited about that opportunity, you know, um, to work with this coaching staff, um, to be here. Um, and then for what LeBron said, um, it was very, very kind of him. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, I think feed off each other tremendously. Um, you know, I think we're two guys who are very selfless and just want to win. Um, and when you have two guys like that, it makes both of our jobs a lot easier. Um, and then we also have other guys around us who, who also, you know, wants to win and is going to help us along the way. Hey, Anthony, focusing on the offensive end, uh, just considering LeBron and the attention that he draws defensively, what do you think that can do for your game that you haven't had in the past, just with the, you being the primary focus most times of the defense? Um, I think it opens up the floor. It opens up opportunity for um, other guys. You know, he's always been a guy that commanded double teams, um, and he's also a great passer out of out of double teams. So, I think you know by him, you know, commanding double teams, and uh, it will it will open up my game up a lot, um, a lot of one on ones and uh, single coverage uh, defenses, and um, also being able to you know swing it to the next guy who who might be open as well. So I think it put the defense in the bond uh, when you have two guys who you have to worry about. Um, every time down the floor. Uh, AD, uh, Ray ahead. Um, what, what was your reaction when you heard about DeMarcus's <clears throat> injury and, and what, um, what have been your interactions with Dwight uh, and, since he's uh, been able to come aboard? Um, I, was, I was shocked uh, just knowing that he worked so hard to try to get back uh, from his ACL, I mean <laughs> his uh, quad and his uh, Achilles. Um, you know, he hasn't, you know, really had the opportunity to, you know, be old to Marcus. And um, he wanted this year to be the year um, because he felt like he was very healthy. Um, and then, you know, the ACL happened. So um, he's in good spirits. He's happy to just to be here still and um, be around the team. Um, and we support him, you know, all the way through. Um, and, you know, me and Dwight, uh, very cool. Um, you know, he's been here. Uh, since he signed here, you know, working out. And uh, we've been, you know, working out together as well um, alongside, you know, JaVale. So just trying to, um, you know, get acclimated with each other, um, knowing that, you know, a lot of times two of us will probably be on the floor together. So um, just trying to, you know, build that team chemistry. Uh, Anthony, uh, media days are always kind of weird. I'm going to guess, though, that this is a slightly different experience than what you had in New Orleans. But when this is over, it's going to continue. I mean, all these people are very interested in the Lakers and the Clippers. So what do you think that this experience will be like for you going forward? How, how do you think it'll be different than maybe what you experienced in uh, New Orleans? Um, definitely, like, a lot more people here. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, media day is media day. Um, you, know, you know, everyone wants to get a story. Um, everyone want to talk to the players, take pictures and stuff like that. So um, it just doesn't phase me. Um, what I'm interested in is, you know, um, the stuff we do on the floor. Um, obviously, it's a bigger city, uh, bigger media coverage. But, um, you know, I, I knew that, you know, when I got traded here. So I'm prepared for that. And um, I think um, it's going to be a fun year. Hey, Anthony, just to your right over here. Hey, all that's all good. Um, so the Lakers have a, a storied history of big men who have done great things on the court, but have also become stars, I guess really in movies and TV as well. You think of Wilt, Kareem, Shaq, those guys have all won championships and also become movie stars as a result. How do you sort of see yourself within that context, given your success in the NBA so far, what you want to do with the Lakers and now being in Space Jam? Nah, that was a one-time thing. <laughs> I don't see, that was a lot of, that was very time consuming. At least right now, I don't see any more movies you know, <laughs> in my uh, near future. Um, but it was a fun experience, you know, um, to be able to um, star. Well, I won't say star, but um, being a movie, you know, that I that I grew up 
uh, watching my childhood. So uh, to be, you know, Space Jam 2 with other um, other players as well, I think it's a big honor for me and um, something that I I can always, you know, hold on to forever. AD, to your right, this is obviously an iconic franchise with a national brand. How do you keep your world small so you guys can grow as a team and accomplish some of the high expectations that come along with this? Uh, I think just knowing that um, nobody um, outside of our locker rooms matter. Um, there's going to be a lot of um, stuff people say. There's going to be a lot of narrative that you know people try to tag on the Lakers. But uh, we have to make sure that you know, with all that being said, we have to um, stay um, close as a unit um, from the players to the coaching staff, front office. It has to be just about the Lakers organization. Um, and that's it. And if we're able to do that, then a lot of stuff that gets put out in the media or um, try to portray the Lakers to be something um, or try to portray a player to be something that they're not, uh, we can overcome that. Uh, Anthony, to your right a little bit. To your right over here. Uh, has LeBron spoken to you at all about, you know, what it's like to play under the spotlight that comes with playing on one of his teams, the pressure? Is that something that you guys would talk about or, or not something you would address? Uh, no. No. Not something that he um, told me anything, but I mean, you see it. I mean, anytime you're playing under, you know, big lights, night in and night out, or someone's, you know, not someone, but everybody's watching you night in and night out. Um, like I said, you're going to hit obstacles. Um, you're going to have adversity. You're going to have a narrative around you. Um, but it's about how you overcome that. And I think we have a team that's, that's you know, very tight um, where we can lean on each other. Um, and just put all that behind us. AD, right here to your left, yes. Hi. Um, I know that you kind of make it a point to forge strong relationships, uh, whether it was with Drew and Ja, you know, working out over the summer. Um, what was that kind of juxtaposition, you know, working out with them and then forging this new relationship with your new team and how, what kind of things did you glean from kind of balancing those relationships? Um, those relationships extend way more than basketball. Um, been knowing Ja since I was in high school. You know, he's from Chicago as well and been knowing Drew for a while, um, you know, in New Orleans. But those those friendships and those relationships extend off the court as well. So um, it was an easy transition that we still talk, you know. Um, and then, you know, also bringing, you know, coming here and having building new relationships with the guys here. So um, all the relationships I have extend more than just, you know, on the court. So um, it makes my life a lot easier. Hey, Anthony, um, I wanted to ask about the players camp that you guys had. Um, what was the energy like and and what was LeBron like? What kind of what roles did each of you take um, during those few days? Um, it was fun. I mean, we uh, had some great workouts, um, just trying to build some team chemistry um, before going to training camp. Um, it's the first time we had everyone, excuse me, everyone together. Right. <laughs> it was the first time we had uh, everyone together, um, so that w that was pretty cool and um, enjoyed each other's company and just you know just have one last hurrah before you know training camp starts. So um, like I said we got we got some work in, enjoy Vegas, and now you know ready to get started. AD, uh, can you describe what your role was um, during the offseason assisting the front office and helping to recruit players, conversations you had with others, and the vision that you gave guys as, uh, as they were seeking to join you guys uh, with the Lakers? Um, I think uh, the front office did a great job of including you know, LeBron and myself in um, the decisions you know, to, to build this team. Um, you know, every guy that is on his team, um, you know, me and LeBron had to say so. And, and I think that's very important, you know, when, you know, you're going to war with guys every day. Um, it'd be pretty weird to go with a guy, go to war with a guy that you don't really like. So, um, you know, they make sure they want to include us in every decision. Um, and then, you know, it wasn't really a vision. I just told guys, I mean, you know, we definitely have an opportunity to do something special here this year. And um, all you can ask for is a chance in this league. And we definitely have a chance to do something special. And, um, you know, a lot of guys actually was texting me. Like, man, you and LeBron, man, I 
can I join? So it was pretty easy on, on, on my end. Um, but um, there there was guys that we had to try to, you know, convince that we really wanted here um, that end up, you know, being here. And now that we have, we feel like we have all the right pieces to um, to do uh, what we want to do and reach our ultimate goal. Um, now it's about just going out, you know, buckling down and doing it. Anthony, obviously, I mean, you're going to be asked about this all year, but free agency next summer. Um, what have the Lakers done, done so far, do you feel like, to give you a sense of ownership in what's happening here? And then what has to happen um, this year, do you think, to make this a place you want to be long term? I just want to focus on this year. Um, you know, coming here, you know, the Lakers definitely opened me with welcome arm, well, open arms and uh, made me feel like this is home, you know. Um, but at the same time, you know, uh, it's about what we can do this year. You know, we have a special team, a special unit, special coaching staff, um, and 